Wow, that's definitely the wrong date. 527 to 16. I gotta change that. Hey, what's going on, YouTubers? It's Cliff with Jay Mechanic Scale Modeling. I'm trying my uh, action cam. It's a uh, Arion. Bought this while I was in Ukraine. Slightly different. Um, so I was going through some stuff today, and I found a couple of models from my youth. I know I've got more parts, but anyway, let's take a trip down some of the memory lane. We've got. Dale Earnhardt Sr. Uh, don't mind it. Some of the mice got to this one. But it's intact. This is his uh, Daytona car. It's all complete. I mean, everything is in there. I haven't really pulled it apart or anything because the box is, well, you know, but everything is in there from what I could tell. So that was a Kari 1 Daytona. Here's another Monte Carlo, Dale Earnhardt. This one is one that 95% completed. I got to do the glass and put the hood pins on it. Body needs a little bit more work. I wasn't happy with it, so I got to resand it and try to paint it again. But it does look not too bad. Like I said, there's the hood. Let's see if I can do this. There it is. All complete. said I finally found it so that'll be good once I get the body and the decals done on that so put the glass and that back set that there set this up out of the way Terry Labonis Monte Carlo this one right here, I tried to do some sort of weird orange, like, different um, paint scheme on it. Tried to do, like, a rookie custom sort of paint scheme on it. Never actually got it finished. I still got to do the... Well, I got the tires, you know, all scuffed up and ready to go, but I don't have anything done with the frame or none of that. This is practically a brand new kit, so... That's something that I'll get on my bench here eventually. So, but at least I found it. I know where it is. It's like I said, old school. And I'm trying to do this one handed, but. Let's see, when was it made? That was one of the older kits, an AMT kit. 95. 1995 so this one right here I picked this up at a garage sale didn't even think about actually looking on the inside but the reason why it was only 10 cents is it's missing the body I got the frame got the engine I got some chrome pieces well maybe some of the chrome pieces are missing but I guess they were trying to paint the interior like a wood color I got a little bit of glue with it some kind of semi cool aftermarket rims I could probably put on something else maybe if they're the same ones I don't even know what this is oh apparently a brush oh I got the hood but no body so like I said I can't bitch it was only like I said I think it was either a quarter or a dime or something like that I think that's probably why it was so cheap but hey you know what at least I got parts for a Chevelle now this one right here I did have this one I did find this model but here's the other thing this one is junkyard um I can't remember where this was this was an old uh, Plymouth GTX body I was working on like a dynorama some of the weathering skills tried 
playing a little bit with a heat gun and a Dremel. This is all kind of there, so this will probably end up in a Dynarama somewhere. Um, here is part of a 64 Impala, which is an awesome one. One of my better kind of, I wouldn't say pain other than the fish eyes and the bubbles all over the place, but that's not too bad. I enjoyed that blue. I can't remember the name of the blue, but I got parts. Here's the body for it. I mean, there's still a decent amount that I could do. Ooh, ooh, ooh. There's the hood. Oh, Jesus. I got me a set of tractor trailer dualies. Oh, I got me to... Oh, Jesus, yes. I do remember... I do remember I did have a... 148 scale hauler. I want to say it might have been... Uh, the Dale Earnhardt Sr. hauler, which I really wouldn't mind getting my hands back on again. Oh, uh, let's see. Which box do I want to do? We'll do this box first. Here's some more stuff yay yes that is right because look at what we got here we got another terry labani model there's some of the chrome for it i don't know what happened to this one should have probably painted it right on it first we're putting a decal i think what i was trying to do is put decal on before so i knew where to run it oh uh, yes there we go, another NASCAR frame. Oh yeah. Got some other miscellaneous parts and pieces and oh yeah. Aerodyne 148 Kenworth truck body. Let's see what else we got in here. Part of the sleeper part. Out of that, I don't even know where the hell that disappeared to. I gotta look some more places. And, oh, yeah, there's a front Lumina spoiler. Oh, yeah, that blue Camaro, that uh, Hot Wheels one. There we go. I don't know if I still got that one. This is off a trailer I used to have a long time ago. I gotta find the rest of the wheels for it. Um, this is off a of 125th scale. Or no, 120th scale uh, Chevy Camaro. It was actually that Highway Patrol one, which, I don't know, that's probably gone somewhere. Ooh. Actually, you know what? I believe this is the bumper off uh, that uh, one, uh, the Midnight Cowboy. Got some other pieces in here. Got some rims. I'll have to dump all this out and go through it. Oh, that's why. Well, let me try to put that back together. But that's why I think it dropped and broke the front part of the roll body or roll cage. Yeah, I'm definitely gonna have to go over these a lot quicker and see what I've got for that. This is probably got a stash. <gasps> there it is. There's the Rain X Camaro. Ah, the S15 Sonoma Cyclone. That body for that. Oh, yeah. 72 fleet side oh shit this one's definitely gonna have to get cleaned up or maybe i'll leave it as is do a little bit of work to it what else we got oh jesus we've got a semi truck frame oh yeah there's definitely gonna be some scratch building using that Now is this, uh, oh, this might be the truck frame. Yes, it is. This is the truck frame for that 72. What else we got in here? Blue. We used to have a Bigfoot model. That's the interior out of it. Maybe I'll get lucky 
we come across there's that Pontiac Firebird my dad yellow and silver something to do oh yeah Z28 Camaro I don't know what this is out of oh definitely looks like a decent axle It's like a Chevelle hood, maybe? No, I definitely ain't the Camaro hood. Well, there's a tailgate. And a front clip. Oh, wait, this one might be the box for that 72. Yeah, I might uh, be having my uh, hands is full doing some stuff here as far as some scratch building. I've got some parts, got a junkyard. Oh geez, got the oh got some side pipes it looks like. Oh yeah, that might actually just be a stack of some sort. GMC Sonoma box. Hmm, depending if I got the other side somewhere. Yeah, well I consider this to be a... Oh, hey, here's part of an airbrush kit when I was trying to do that. That's one of them tester model airbrush things. Oh, there's the other. Oh, geez. Yes, sir. Oh, well, that's all right. I can make it look like somebody hit something on the end there. We got some nice VRS rims. Oh, yeah. Yep, I think there's definitely going to be some scratch building going on. I found some. Maybe I can revive some of these old models. Alright, well. Well, for that matter, that is uh, pretty good. Like I said, I found a decent amount of stuff. Also want to give uh, kind of another shout out. Big Charlie, Big Charlie's Model Garage. Got a shop card from him today. And I would also like to uh, show there's a stuff. It's called Rust-Oleum Peel Coat. So it's a shop coat. It's made by Rust-Oleum. It's gold. Gold flake. So try doing a little bit on some Massey Harris Red and some white. I don't know how well I'll be able to see it. But it's supposed to be gold flake. So, I mean, not too bad. So that's just something for this. So far it seems to do all right. It's not bad. It's by Rust-Oleum. And I also picked up a can. That was a little shit to be spraying uh, outside today. But other than that, this is the lavender. Well, it's not lavender, but it's boysenberry. I think that might look good for the cancer build. So... There's that. That's a bison berry. Uh, it's a bison berry flat bison berry. I thought that looked good, but maybe I'll actually just go out and buy the actual can of lavender for the cancer group build car. So anyway, uh, that's what I've got for there. I uh, just wanted to kind of do a shout out. I decided to uh, rearrange a couple things. Went in a little bit of spelunking and uh yeah so that's what i've got and got some crazy ideas for some scratch build stuff coming up so all right well this is cliff with uh jam mechanic scale modeling signing off